Hi, it's Jason Perico announcing it's holiday time at Bianchi Honda. This month, get clearance pricing on all top rated Hondas like the Rugged Pilot, Sporty HRV, All New Accord, and of course, Erie's favorite, the All Wheel Drive CRV. Only during the Happy Honda Days sales event, where there's only one choice when shopping for a new car Erie's choice, Bianchi Honda. That time of the week, time for the Gannon Golden Knights coaching show. Coach Riley, how are you? Doing well. Doing Thanksgiving well. good? It's nice. It's always busy because uh, with the tournament, the yeah. Gary Miller tournament, and uh, but our, our guys, our guys handle it well. You know, we we practice in the morning, and we always do a little bit of community service. We um, sisters of St. Joe's will have the have the meal at Gannon, so we always eat there one time, and then we'll help clean up, and then we'll we'll make some deliveries. Um, and then uh, we get ready for the tournament, so it's always a busy time. This is a yearly thing, but you don't do yourself any favors or whomever schedules your opponents for this tournament. Great teams were in town. R really good teams, and um, it's really um, West Virginia Wesleyan had the worst record of anybody and, and may have had the best players, honestly. And uh, But there was four really good games and uh, very well-contested games, so it, it was tremendous. And, and, and Gary really tries. I mean, I work with Gary Miller on it, and... and um, he wants a tournament format, which a lot of people don't want it, you know, because we'll, we'll get a lot of the PSAC teams that want to play in it, but they don't want to play us or whatever just because we, we already played twice during the year. So it's a little bit more challenging to get teams to come up. But, um, but then the teams that you get are usually really pretty good. Gary doesn't miss a lot of games, not tournament games or regular season games. So. Gary loves basketball. He loves the Yankees. Um, he's been a, we will hold that against him. He's been a loyal <laughs> Um, Gannon fan and, and uh, Gary's been wonderful to our program and uh, to our guys and, and, and to the university. Got to say congrats the games themselves I know that the championship game it came down to the final moments that's always exciting. It is and, and we knew um, with Bill Saul I mean he brought his he was at Ferris when he used to when he was in the GLIAC and uh, I know he, he, he spent what 11 12 years at Ferris and then he took the job in Northern Michigan I think he's had to rebuild that but um, I knew when he wanted to come back, I knew he had a good team, and um, that that the freshman or the uh, sophomore guard was the sophomore junior. He had a junior and a sophomore playing the backcourt. I think number ten was a sophomore, but was tremendous, and um, good players. Both teams, every possession was contested, and it did. It went right down the end. You need good guard play right now, and maybe even more so because you don't have a true number one. John and I kind of talked about it on Sunday, and that was his thoughts. I think you relayed those onto him, but. What are the pros and cons to not having a bona fide point? Well, guard? Zay Jackson's a, a really good player, um, and I think we're better now than we were last year. Um, well, I think we'll be a little bit different. We're going to rely on our, our bench a little bit more, but um, but Zay's Zay's doing a wonderful job in terms of of just leading us, leading the huddles. He's got a lot of heart, and. Uh, and we're just kind of figuring up as we go. Um, a lot of it will depend on on the development of our point guards, whether we can move people down. But um, but I'm hoping to be able to play nine, ten guys every game. And uh, but again, that depends on on practice. So we're, we're still evolving, but but we're fighting pretty good, and and we need to because every game we play, every team we play is really pretty good. Is there a prototypical John Riley one, or have you had both? And we, we've had all, all, I've had all kinds over the years. Um, I've had a lot of really good ones. Um, probably the best one we had, we, I ever had was down in Kentucky, DeMonte Foots, and he, he first team All-American. He could score, he could defend, and he, when he came into us, he was more of a two, and we kind of made him into one, but then he really started developing, um, you know, just thinking the game. I, I think the key char characteristic, if you're the point guard for one of our teams, is you need to have a lot of toughness, mentally, physically. Zay Jackson has that. And, uh, and on top of that, he has a great passion for the game. So, and everybody respects him. So he, he's going to do fine. The trophy, it's beautiful, it's shiny. I kind of know your thoughts on stuff like that. But uh, I heard a remark after the game. It seems to me that, that this has really incentivized the team driving for the Gary Miller Classic. Well, we wanted to win it because we haven't won it in a while. And uh, 
I think we've been in the championship the last couple of years, and um, we just we haven't won it. So um, we we definitely wanted wanted to win it. And um, our thing is again, we, that was that it was a great weekend for us. And um, and now what we have to be able to do is we have to be able to turn that, and we have to be able to do play with the same intensity at Bowie on Wednesday night. And it's just trying to get these guys to mature, trying to get the younger guys to figure it out a little bit quicker. Um, it always takes a while. Um, but I, I do like the fact that our seniors, our seniors are hungry, and, uh, and we've got to stay hungry. Do you think that a championship could be more important for different teams? Depending on I think it never, it, never, it never hurts. So AD and Raff and that group and Blaze, I mean, they, I don't think they won a Gary Miller Classic, but then they were able to win the league and, uh, and compete in the NCAA tournament. But these guys wanted it. They were hungry for it. They knew the teams were good. And it was important to them. And um, so at that point in time, it was, hey, it was the best we could do at that point in time. And we, and we, and we were happy with, I thought, I thought it was a team, team effort. There was a lot of, there was a lot of nice plays, not just the offensive plays, but Damon Rod getting back. And uh, when they had a streak in post, when I thought their post had a lamp, and Damon was able to get back and deflect that out of bounds. Zay did a nice job of making two, three, four efforts on, on, on their point guard at the end and ended up getting a charge. That was huge. Because that kid drives lane, all of a sudden maybe we're found. We go, we go in line, and he's probably gonna make them. So there was there was a lot of big plays. Evan Phoenix was tremendous all weekend. Um, Jair Green was good. Jarrell Williams was good. So a lot of a lot of good things. Uh, I also wanted to ask. I, I'm hearing about the glory days of the Hammer Mill. I think we've had this conversation before, but we're getting further and further into it. So two questions: What's the GLIAC versus PSAC? What does that look like these days compared to in the heydays as I'm hearing it? I think in, in terms of what, out in, in terms well, of... Well, people talked about the athleticism that they had, the length, the height, and I've heard mixed reviews. Some people say that's still featured out of the GLIAC. It kind but of see, the GLIAC out. now has changed since we've been in it, because now, now they have, like, the GMAC, and now, um, like, Hillsdale's out, um, uh, Finley's out. It's, 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 it's changing. Okay. Um, I've always liked the PSAC better. I'm not saying the teams were I've always liked the PSAC better. Um, just a tough league with, with so many teams, so many league games. But the GLIAC was good, too. I mean, that our last year in it, I think you had three teams in the top five, us, Grand Valley, and Finley, We're all in the top five in the country. And, uh, and there's, it's, the, the GLIAC has tremendous coaches, but I think the PSAC has tremendous coaches. The style of play is a little bit different. PSAC's usually more athletic, faster. Um, but I haven't been up there in a while, so I don't know if that's changing. That's just when we were up there. And now with the GMAC coming in with Kentucky Weather and all of some Bottas and those teams, it's all it's all changing, so I'm not I'm not sure. Gotcha, gotcha. I'd like to say that you logged more miles then of travel, but then you look at this but, trip you got coming up. So just tell me about the But yeah, the the, the travel was, was terrible in the GLIAC and that was that was really bad. Um, but yeah, we have the buoy trip coming up, so it's basically it's a one-game road trip, which which isn't a bad trip. It's five and a half, six hours max. So they came up to our place last year. We'll go to them, and we want to we want to keep the series going. They're good, they're well coached, they're in our region. It's hard to get games, so we're hoping to be able to keep 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 it going. So hopefully they'll they'll return next year, um, and then obviously we have the uh, the PSAC crossovers on the, uh, on the weekend. So, but we got to take it one at a time, and and um, just get ourselves ready to, to be able to compete. He's John Riley, the Golden Knights coming off of a Gary Miller championship, Gary Miller Classic championship. Uh, I was watching a little bit of LeBron James and Simmons last night, and LeBron James took four steps with the ball in his hands on the way to the basket. I thought, I actually thought of you, because I'm thinking, what would John Riley think about that play? Uh, it's just the level of play in the PSAC, it's more fun for me to watch. Well, I, I am a LeBron James fan, and uh, he's yeah, and I, I I really like him. I mean, I love the fact, I love how he competes. I'm blaming the ref. But yeah, I, I don't I don't get into that. I, I'm glad the Cavs are winning. Um, but I, I've been, besides watching film of our upcoming opponents, I watch a lot of college basketball, and uh, just because we can always learn something from watching. And last night I was watching. Uh, who was it? Who was Wisconsin playing in Virginia? Wisconsin, Virginia. And then I was watching Marquette. I like Marquette. In uh, Eastern Illinois, but I'm 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 focused in there. I, I don't I, now. I'll watch the NBA come uh, playoff time. All right. 
Um, and I do follow the Cavs, whether they win or lose, but uh, I'm a college basketball guy. I'll ask you that. Coach Sean Riley, appreciate it. My pleasure.